they were in a half. Felipe goes to sit out, like he's going for the Kimura. It becomes a back chase here. Okay. So what ends up happening here, when Felipe sits, Gordon's arms are in tight. So when he sits, he ends up being behind his body, which is good for me, all right? At this point, this knee gives a little bump to get Felipe's hips all the way over because Felipe would want to be low over here, okay? So by using this knee and my hand, I can start pushing him off. Now, to help get to the back, as I'm pushing, I'm trying to get to an elbow post here at the same time. So I want to go with the momentum here, boom. Because now this lets me right up. I can hook the hips now and start coming for the back. Now we turn a little bit. There is a threat here, which Felipe tried to do, which is to get like a leg lock or a leg entanglement because my leg, as I'm coming up, will be in the middle. Okay, but if you pull the leg out quickly, not as big as a deal, particularly since my knee is not gonna be super deep, it's somewhat shallow. Like if you watch the replay, you can see that as they're going, Gordon's comes to get over wrap and he rolls through. Right. And Felipe was trying to hold on to this leg for a little bit, but ultimately he was able to kick up and get on top here. But just something to be aware of. You don't want to be totally cavalier when you're taking that back. Realize your leg might be exposed. But again, the key things here is one, doing good half guard, not letting him sit. If he was sitting like this, it's a very different story. Now this arm is trapped here. But he was sitting with his arms under. So when he went to sit, boom, knee bump, hand assist here. Coming to his elbow to sit up. And now I can hug the hips here. In Gordon's case, as he's pulling up, at some point we're trying to reach for that top shoulder so I can get to chest to back. Okay, so... That was the, the first sweep that uh, Gordon scored. The second one was also from the same setup, which is, again, here, Felipe once again sat out, but this time Gordon went for this over wrap position. He opted to go high rather than low in the hips. He was more high on the shoulder line, hand posted. Okay, now the key thing here is my leg positioning. Right now when I start, my legs will be here, so I'm still in half guard. There's no clean sweep from here yet. So Gordon, after waiting here for a little bit, did a little bit of a hip scoot to shift. And I don't know if you guys can see, but on this side now, I have my left butterfly hook in. So now, we turn the sides again. All I need to do is get my right leg out. So if he didn't resist me, I do another hip scoot. Now, I'm on the way to the back. You know, I could go into the truck position, extend, dump them, or just chase the back. Right, I could just sit up, boom, okay. But, back here, Felipe didn't make it that easy on him. When Gordon tries to scoot out, he keeps jamming his knee in front of his hip, preventing the easy back take. So, what uh, Gordon opted for is he collapsed to his side here, okay? And then he used his left leg here. We gotta keep turning <laughs> so you can see, because the angle's a little tricky. His top leg here hooks and pulls out because now that takes away his base leg, okay? So at this point, now I can just turn my hips into him. I still have my over wrap. I'll bring out my bottom leg. And I can get top position there. So again, that sequence from a slightly different angle. He's here, sit up, hip scoot, leg comes in. I'm trying to scoot the other leg, the knee's jammed fall over, start looking to hook this leg. Now turn a little bit this way. One thing is important here, if I stay sideways, you see where my elbow is right now, under my body, it's gonna be hard to sit up. Because it's like my shoulders collapsed. 
So key detail here, which you'll see Gordon do, is I gotta pull my elbow over my head. Here. This allows me now to sit up. You see now I can sit up. Boom. I can expose him here. Boom, get on top. All right, so those were the two sweeps that Gordon hit during that match with Felipe. And again, both half guard closed, both same initiation. All right, so like the, the learning lesson here is don't sit out or sit facing your opponent's hips without controlling their top arm. Because otherwise, all sorts of bad things happen to you. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.